This video is covering tape mode on OP1. To record something to tape, press the tape key. Play on the musical keyboard and set the input gain with the orange encoder. Now hold record and start playing. Notice the tape reel is red, indicating it's recording. When finished, press stop. Press stop again to go back and then play to hear what you recorded. The upper left one on the screen is indicating track one is used. You have four tracks in total. Use the transport controls to move through your audio. To erase the take, press the lift key. To paste it back in, press the drop key. Let's erase this for now and find some drums to record. If you want to metronome while recording, press the tempo key and turn up the metronome using the orange encoder. Set the BPM with blue. Now when you press play on tape, there should be an audible click. Get a feel for the tempo, and when you're ready to record, hold rec and start playing. Press the stop key when ready. You can overdub as much as you want to, and layer multiple takes on one track. Just record over the same track again. Each separate track has a total recording time of 6 minutes. To turn off the metronome, press tempo again and turn it down using the orange encoder. To loop a section of the tape, press the loop out key where you want the loop to end. Let's add some more sounds. Hold record to overdub. Each new recording creates a region on the tape. These regions can be glued together using the join button. Hold shift and press the join key. This will join the regions into one single take. To quickly jump between bars, hold shift and press the arrow keys. This can be handy when you want to make sure to stay on the beat exactly. There's no quantize when manually recording to the tape. If you want a tighter beat, you can of course use a sequencer. Let's erase this and create a 4 bar loop. Hold shift, press forward 4 times and then press loop out. This is the pattern sequencer with a beat already prepared. The root key is middle C, but the beat can be transposed using other keys. Hold record and start the beat. The beat is locked to the tempo set before. You can verify by turning on the metronome again. You cannot change the BPM of the recording afterwards. However, you can adjust tape speed. The track selection keys T1 to 4 allows you to select other tracks. Let's find something for track 2. 
While the tape is playing, you can jam over it to get a feel for what you want to lay down. Make sure track 2 is selected, hold record and start playing. The tape is looping and now with track 1 and 2 playing together. Find something for track 3. Hold record and press play to start recording. If you make a mistake, just lift the take and try again. After this, you can proceed with track 4 and make a whole arrangement. Or you can find an empty spot on the tape and start fresh again. This is it for tape mode. Stay tuned for more videos.